Silicon Valley runs on data, and when it comes to the next pandemic, scientists are looking in a place where everything was once considered waste until now. Jamie Allen walked us through the Palo Alto Regional Water Quality Control Plant. This facility serves over 200,000 people across the Bay Area. But since the pandemic, they've been doing more than clean millions of gallons of wastewater a day. They are playing a key role in detecting COVID. A lot of people are using rapid tests at home, and those test results are not reported to the local health department. So there's no way of them knowing how many people actually have COVID. And the wastewater gives us a really true picture. According to the CDC, people infected with COVID can shed the virus in their feces, even if they don't have symptoms. That's why this has become an effective indicator of COVID transmission. There are 2 million copies of the virus in every gram of wastewater. But once it gets here, it's dead and no longer infectious. Because COVID is neutralized at this point, plant operators can collect samples without the need of PPE. Around 3 p.m., the collection begins. The sample is later sealed and placed in this fridge. In the meantime, a group of couriers are driving to wastewater plants to pick up samples throughout the state. Thank you. One of them is Saul Hernandez. This is his route. The next plant I'm going to collect it is uh, Davis. So we here is the date and the time. All the samples end up at Verily. We got to see firsthand how the scientific process works. So the first sample will come in looking something like this. You can see it's a mixture of liquid and solid. And what we do is then centrifuge it, so spin it at a super, super high speed, many thousands of revolutions per minute. And what we get left is just the solid portion that we're going to actually use for the testing. Bradley White leads the team at Verily that processes over 30 samples a day from across the country and 16 from California wastewater sites. And inside this fridge, they have samples from millions of people from across the Bay Area, stretching from Gilroy to San Francisco, you see here, San Jose, Palo Alto, you see over there, Stanford. The process to detect how much COVID is in a community is meticulous. Surprisingly, it only requires one sample per plant and about 0.3 grams of solid from that sample. So it makes the nice noise to let you know. So this data represents how many people? It average? depends on the sewer shed. Our largest sewer shed in Los Angeles, there are 4 million people contributing to that sewer shed. So we're able to gain this information about everyone within that sewer shed from this small sample that we take Just from this, this. solid. That's Just it. this. 4 million people. Yes. Wow. The next step is to detach the virus from everything else. Those ball bearings actually physically disrupt the virus from the sample, so they'll free it up. And then the virus can also be encapsulated, and that liquid that we put in there actually breaks those encapsulations and frees the virus so that we can detect it in the next step of the process. These machines turn the samples into liquid form, and one of the final steps lights up the one that has COVID. If there's virus in there, the droplet will fluoresce. And from there, we can infer how many people in a community have SARS-CoV-2. This entire process in the lab takes about 10 hours, including sequencing for specific variants. A fast operation that Verily's co-founder, Jessica Mega, says is key to give health departments enough time to respond before a surge. Wastewater gives us an early warning signal. We don't want to wait until people get sick, they then become symptomatic, and then get tested. With wastewater, you can get ahead of that, understanding what's happening in a community, understanding which variants are most prevalent. All of the virus now is detached from the solid and in the liquid portion. But years before wastewater samples were processed at this scale, Stanford professor Alexandria Baim had the vision. The beginning of the pandemic, we started working on studying SARS-CoV-2 in wastewater. A team of research students started collecting wastewater samples from campus in early 2020. That's now expanded to creating the Sewer Coronavirus Alert Network, a project that analyzes and releases data for 11 water treatment plants in California. We developed the measurement techniques and the technology, and we needed to scale it. We talked to the public health department pretty much on a daily basis. This is how they detected Omicron more than a week before clinical samples confirmed this variant in the Bay Area. And now they're focused on the next one.
We have started to see now BA.4 coming up in the wastewater, and so we'll be watching that closely. So next time you think about how COVID data is collected, just know it's one flush away. It's ready to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. In San Francisco.